And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets on the court for Minnesota. They've got Lehman. He's out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Ricky Rubio is out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Noel in at the shooting guard position. The assist total. Kevin just continue to grow they're way ahead in that category ball movement has been flawless now here's Towns he's got 20 easily outside offensive rebound and it's Towns on the follow Boy, how about the anticipation from Carl Anthony Towns beats everyone to the spot and goes right back up with it Here's Lawrence. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Noel. The rebound by the Nets. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Here's Lawrence. Shot clock reset for the Nets. Durant, that's good. Mm, cleaning up for his team. Durant acts with authority to extend the possession. Here's Noel. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Yes. Noel's got four this quarter. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Pass to Claxton. Back to Harris. To the paint. Cobb in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lawrence. From outside, off the mark. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Noel's got 14. Brooklyn's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Lawrence. Let's keep it alive. Durant kicks to Junior. Releases from the wing and drills it. Junior's got 28 points for the game. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. And Durant sends it back. Over the past few years, Durant's gotten a lot more attention. Green is out there with Luawu. Then it's Junior. Then there's Amon Shumpert. And it's Claxton in at the center position. So that's the Nets five. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Here's Green. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. For Minnesota, they've gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going 0 for 4 so far. And the foul called on Junior. That's his first foul. Pass to Culver. Now, Hernan Gomez. Another miss by Minnesota. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And it's Junior missing. Minnesota's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And the slam dunk by Russell. D'Angelo Russell rises up and drops the hammer. Russell against Shumper. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And the pass to Lawrence. That one off the back iron and out. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's McLaughlin. Count it. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Shooting one. Personal foul.
And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. And it's Junior missing. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Here's McLaughlin. There's Russell with the three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Lawrence. The shot off that time. And Minnesota will come the other way. Russell feeling it out a bit. Another miss by Minnesota. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Here's Luella. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Minnesota's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Now Russell. Pass to Hernan Gomez. He kicks it to Culver. And he banks in the layup. Culver's got his first two points of the night. Boy, tough to finish with contact from that range. Shows what a determined scorer Jarrett Culver is. Here's Lawrence. Krills it from outside. Well, he's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Lawrence passes to Green. Junior kicks to Shumper. Nets passing it around. Here's Luwum. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range. Rebound, Minnesota. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. On the wing, Shumpert. Here's Lawrence. Drops one in from the wing. Junior's got seven points for the quarter. Boy, you really have to like the control of Shumpert there. Let's the play develop and made the pass for an easy hoop. Nice. Russell. Here's Davis, and oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. The Timberwolves shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Here's Russell. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Here's Shumper. Pass to Claxton. He dishes it to Junior. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Culver. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Fires the three. The shot, no good. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. 
Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This guy is so wiry and so long. Remember, six foot six at the two guard. It's tough to contain. And he makes the first. Minnesota making a switch here. Noel's checked in, and that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Brooklyn's gone a disappointing two of six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Here's Lawrence. Off target from three point range. He needs to drive to the rim. The shot just not going. Culver passes to Hernan Gomez. To the right side. Here's McLaughlin, guarded by Green. Shot clock at six. McLaughlin, no good. And so Green will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. He was all alone on that one. Junior's got 40 points. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. And the foul called on Junior. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. Shoots from eight, and too long on the shot. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. Shumper dishes to Junior. Outside Shumper. And it's good for two. You see how well Shumpert uses the screen. He is so good and hard to deal with in the pick and roll. Here's McLaughlin. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Pulls up, high post. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Hernan Gomez has got his first basket. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Four on three break. With some arc. Noel, no good. Net shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Trains it from beyond the arc. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. It's tipped. Now, here's Junior. Defense is right there. Over to the wing. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And Green is a critical role player for this team. His passing is really phenomenal. Now, here's Culver. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The pass to Hernan Gomez. The Timberwolves again can't hit. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Pretty dime there, the kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Here's Lawrence. They grab their own miss. Claxton the pass to Green. Outside jumper. Clock at six. Pass to Junior. No good with the triple. 
Minnesota shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Nets. At every opportunity, they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. Yeah, I think it paid off, that's for sure. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Junior. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. And it's Junior missing. Minnesota shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. And count it, the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. A really impressive watching this young guy convert through physical defense. Jarrett Culver, signs of things to come. They've been looking out of sorts in the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Culver passes to McLaughlin. Here's Davis. The dish to Culver. That's in there. Davis with the assist. There's a combination of size and agility that makes Culver a threat from the interior. This guy will find a way to create and get around the defense. Now, here's Junior with the shot. And Culver pulls it down. Here's McLaughlin, guarded by Lawrence. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.